Shalom and welcome to Heart to Heart. We are so glad you have joined us. It's from the heart of the Father. Download to our hearts, to Amen. your heart. And so we believe that this program allows you to capture the heart of the Father for you, for your life, for your family, for your business. And I'm telling you, whenever we come here to bring forth this program, Mr. Sarah and I, you know, we, we just get so emotional with the things of God, so zealous. And we want what he is doing in our lives because he ministers to us. We want what he's doing in our lives, that which he is putting in our heart to also be evident in your life. Amen. So Amen. sit back and call your friends, your family members, and believe in your heart that today the Lord is going to speak to your heart. Some word or words that will cause you to go to a higher level in him. That will bring about comfort. That will bring about healing. Restoration of relationships. And many, many, many more. Amen. So relax, rest in him, and let's begin. We need to talk about some of the things that God has promised us because he has made lots of promises. And, and I think sometimes we don't realize when we're reading his word that those promises that he made then are our promises now. Amen. And those are promises that we can stand on yeah. because his promises will never fail. Amen. Amen. So I thought it was important for us to discuss that because God has not changed his mind. And, and he will never change his mind. And, and I uh, often say it and I continue to say when I was in Egypt, and I saw the river of water that was flowing when God spoke Amen. to the ground. Amen. Amen. And the water came forth. Hallelujah. And he didn't say, come forth while Joseph and Mary and Jesus are here. No. He said, come forth. Amen. And that was it. And that was it. My God. He never said, dry up. Mm. Whatever that source was is now. And for us to understand as believers and for the listeners that are not believers to know that his promises will never, fail. ever Amen. fail. Amen. Amen. Never. And, and to just get it in your spirit that when you're reading his word and he speaks to you, that's for you. Amen. Amen. That promise didn't go away. Mm. And as we get to know what his promises are by studying his word, we will know that he provided everything in his word for us yesterday, today, tomorrow, forever. You know, Minister Sarah, you are talking about knowing that the promise in his word is for us today. And I'm just being reminded that that is why we will not forsake the assemblies of the saints. Amen. That's why we are doing what we are doing. Amen. It's not just for the uh, viewers, it's also for us. Yes. When you prepare this, you're encouraged. Yes. Bishop, I, I, I listen to what I'm doing it, I'm reading it mm -hmm. it's it's going into me I'm hearing the words of God speaking in my heart and then I listen to healing tapes and I'm allowing it to flow through me mm -hmm. allowing it to go in and make a difference Amen. allowing it to go in and do what God said that it would do Amen even uh, as the Lord is, this is prophetic word, 
the Lord is saying to us, his promises will never fail. And I want to bring it down to where we are. Yeah. Minister Sarah, you and I worked in the same company uh, for years. And um, for some time now, you just uh, retired. And now we are together in the same church. And we travel together yes. on mission trip. Just that. When you tell me you will do something, I never wonder. Yeah. This is just a human. This is just Minister Sarah. I never, ever wonder. She said, I don't even wonder whether she will forget. Now, we are dealing <laughs> with God. Yes. Oh, I am talking to myself, so please understand, okay? You know, every one of us, we have certain promises of God that we continue to stand upon for different situations. I have three children, and now we have, my husband and I, we have two grandchildren. You think I don't have promises that I am standing on for those children and our grandchildren? I do. I just heard from one of our pastors, actually our senior pastor in Philippines, I haven't shared this with you, because mm -hmm. it just happened before we came on, on the program, mm -hmm. just sent us a mail. And he's been having some challenges in the church, so he decided, the Lord ministered to him, he's not going to work anymore. He wants to concentrate on the sheep. Amen. Because I'm, and I, you know what? That was exactly what I wrote. Amen. I said a big amen. That's the Lord, okay? That I am working doesn't mean that you should be doing the same thing. I told him, I said, amen. So what am I saying? The Lord began to minister to me about different things. I want to encourage him. That means I'm going to start sending him some, some help. Yes. But I know because now the, the churches in Philippines are growing so fast and we have many churches now, 30-something churches. But God's promises will never fail. Yeah, yeah. So this is not just for you. This is for me. This is for us. We have to remind ourselves all the time, God is not a man. She is just an ordinary human that God created, but a daughter of God. And her word is so good. How much more our God? The Heavenly Father. Our Heavenly Father. We're going to go to 2 Corinthians 1, 20. For all the promises of God in him are yea, and in him, amen, unto the glory of God by us. That's for us to know. Mm. That's for us to understand. Mm. That's for us to believe. Mm. All of the promises of God, they come from him. And to know that your father, your heavenly father, cares enough about you that he would even make you a promise. But to make you a promise and mm. stand on that promise mm. for anyone that would pick up his word and read it, for anyone that would pick up his word and believe it. Those promises are still alive. Those promises are still working. Those promises have not failed. Amen. And to find out what he's talking about, to get the knowledge of what he's saying, we have to read his word. Amen. We have to know what his word says. Yes. And if we can't read his word, then we have to have somebody to tell us his word. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're doing. Yes. Because I think sometimes as believers in the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the example that we send out is not his example, it's our example. His word has not changed. Mm -mm. His promise has not changed. Mm -mm and will never change. I want us to go back to that 2 Corinthians 1.20. All. 
all his promises. I want, I want us to look at that. All his promises, they are yea and in him, amen. What is amen? Let it be so. All his promises. It's not some. It's not the ones that are not too hard. <laughs> Whatever that means, okay? You know, maybe the promises like, uh, I just want some cup of water. That's not too hard. If there's, you know, some water around the area. No. All his promises, they are yea and they are amen. Let's go back to that on the screen. And it says, unto the glory of God. Yes. I like that. By us. By us. By us. By us. And to give him glory. And to give him honor. And acknowledging of him. For what he has done. What he's doing in our lives. That's what we're doing today. But the encouragement is in his promise. They will never, ever change. Amen. They will be the same Thousands of until years he now. comes back. Amen. And it still will not change. Hallelujah. Every promise that he made us. Amen. Uh, that's something that you, we can stand on, Bishop. As we were talking, you were talking earlier, uh, I, you reminded me, I made my son a promise when he was in high school and, and um, elementary and through secondary school. I promised him I set up a college fund for him, and I told him, I said, this money is being set aside for you to go to college and this. And, but my promise had a contingency on it. Yeah, God's promise. No. I, I set a contingency. Yeah, you did. God didn't. No, he didn't. He did not. Mm -mm. Oh, I, I, have, I have news for you. His contingency was based on the blood of Jesus. Yes. Oh, Father. <laughs> Yes. The death of Jesus on the cross of Calvary. He paid for it. And now we have become the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. So all his promises to you and I are yea and, and amen. amen. No more contingencies. All gone. Ooh. All gone. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Just that you could walk in it. Just that you can believe it. Just yes. that you can hear it. And you're hearing it from us if you're hearing it for the first time. Okay, so let's go back to that scripture. Don't go, don't, don't go yet. Because <laughs> the Lord is just ministering to me some more. Now, for all the promises of God in him. Yes. Are yea. In him. And that's where Christ comes in. They are yea and in him they are amen unto the glory of God. So let's, let's take one example. The Bible tells us that God has promised us wholeness. Yes. Okay? Because with Jesus' stripes, we were, 1 Peter 2.24 tells us that what Christ went through also delivered wholeness to us. So uh, you may want to ask, how does that promise ap apply to you if you are sick? if you are going through some health challenges. So I want us to talk about, let's bring it home. Let's see how that works with us. Okay, you're going through some challenges right now and you are a son or you are a daughter of God. So, and we are told all the promises. Walking in wholeness is one of the promises of God for us as believers. So number one is that you have to be convinced that God is not a man to lie. Amen. Number 23, 19, you have to know that. Because if you don't believe that, just like I'm, I'm talking about Minister Sarah right here, I've known her for some years, I'm telling you her word is her bond. So if I'm, if I'm so confident to say this about someone that's just a regular person, yes, she is a God-fearing woman, but... We don't compare ourselves the way we are by what God has done and who he Amen. is. He came in a human form and died. None of yes. you will die for anybody. So, now, 
Knowing, number one, that God is not a man to lie. That is critical. Absolutely. And knowing that you and I qualify to get the best that God has for us because of what Christ did on the cross, not because of your good works. In other words, you need to know that you have an inheritance with him. Yes. And be convinced. And know it has nothing to do with whether I'm talking nice to her. I should be nice to her. But that is not why I get the promise. I get the promise because Jesus paid for me to be able to inherit every good thing from the Father. Is that making sense? Absolutely. And you know, as you were talking, I was thinking about all the promises that we hear, especially during election time, for yes. whatever the politician mm -hmm. might be, whatever the flavor it may be for yes. that time, we hear the promises, <laughs> and then when the, they receive the position or whatever it is, the goal <laughs> that they have, and then the promises go away. Father, help. They all vanish. These promises have stood and will withstand stand until the end of time. Amen. And Amen. God wants me, Sarah, to know them. Sarah, to believe them. Yes. Hold so them that's in your the key heart. thing, believe. Right, absolutely. Believe. I, I, was, I was going back when we were talking about healing. By Jesus' stripes, we yeah. were healed. Where? I remember mm. many years ago, I had a tumor on the base of the brain. And I went into the, the surgery room to have the, the tumor removed. And my doctor came and he stood by my bedside and he told me all of these egregious things that may happen before I go into the surgery, mm -hmm. after I come out of the surgery. And when he finished, he asked me, do you still want me to proceed? And I said, you are the surgeon. God is my healer. Amen. And I thank God Amen. that I knew that. Amen. I thank God that I stood Amen. on that. Amen. And every dire circumstance Amen. that he spoke of yes. never came to pass. Amen. Never came to pass. Amen. Believing it Amen. and expressing it. Yes. Because healing is important. Yes. Health is important. Hallelujah. But he covered every area of your life. Amen. Every area of your life. Amen. And a lot of people are wrapped up in their finances. He covered that too. Amen. There's a laundry list of things that his promises, not just for you, mm -mm. for generations, generations to, to cover come. them all. And if we could just pass that on generationally mm -hmm. to our children yes. and our grandchildren mm -hmm. and keep them believing and keep them standing one day, when we see God, his promises will live after us. Yes. And we can stand and believe on that now and forevermore. Amen. And you know, talking about the children, our children are the righteousness of God. Yes. And our children are for signs and wonders. And our children are not for trouble. These are the promises of God for our children. And so you may... Going back to what we said earlier, we used our health. Yes. Now we're dealing with children. So the enemy comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. John 10.10. 10. Jesus said it himself. John 10.10, 10, the A part. We know that. He has never changed in his tactics. That's all that he wants to do. Distract you from yes. the promises of God and wants you to think God's promises is only for certain people or if you do this or do that. That there's a qualifier to it. You don't qualify. You are condemned. You are so bad, you don't qualify. The enemy will come to whisper all those lies. That's why, again, Minister Sarah, I said earlier, do not forsake the assemblies of the saints. Go to a church where the word of God is taught. Very critical. There's no one that's immune to temptation, to Absolutely. test. I'm telling you, don't stay by yourself. Don't stay home. Don't get too busy 
that you don't go to study the word of God, you don't go to Bible study, you don't go to church. You are setting yourself up for failure because we are in the world full of sin. And everywhere you go, you have all this bombarding in your mind. The only way you get all that out of your mind and we renew our mind only by the word of God. I look forward every week when we come. Amen. I do. Because as we are doing this, this is one channel that we get to continue to renew our mind. I've been telling the people in the church, I go to every service in the church. The ones yes. that other pastors are teaching. Yes. I don't I don't go to church just when I'm teaching. Are you kidding? And I when I go to church, I, I start from praise and worship. The first time whoever pulls that mic, I'm there. You know why? I'm always looking for ways to position myself to continue to hear the word of God. The washing by the word of God. So I'm pleading with every one of you watching, wherever you are, this year, this new year, don't get too busy that you are not positioning yourself to hear the word of God over and over. In the house of God, mm -hmm. to allow his Holy Spirit to minister to you, we all need the rest. Mm -hmm. But we are resting in him. Amen. Amen. We're, and we're resting because of his promise. Yes. And so when we feed our spirit with his word and we are fellowshipping one with another, we are re constantly being renewed. Yes. We are constantly being, holding the word in us, holding mm -hmm. the spirit in us. And so when we do that, we're doing what he requires us to do. Mm -hmm. It helps us to be able to go out to a dark and dingy place in the world yeah. and preach his gospel and teach his gospel Amen. and talk to those that are not believers. Amen. And for, wherever you are that you're listening, I, it came to me that people could listen from anywhere. Mm -hmm. They could be in a prison Any cell. country. God mm -hmm. is everywhere. Mm -hmm. At any place in this world, because he made it. Yes. He's there. Yes. So it doesn't matter where you are, what the promises that you're looking for, mm -hmm. every promise is covered. Mm -hmm. Peace is covered. Amen. Rest is covered. Amen. And whatever the needs are. Yes. And we don't name them all, mm -hmm. but they're there. Amen. And to find out if they're there. Pick up your word, read your word, read along with us mm -hmm. to make sure that the words that we give you are his words. Amen. Because they will never change. Yeah. Our words will change, but his word will never change. Yeah. Your soul needs to be fed with that. Mm -hmm. Your soul needs to believe in those promises mm -hmm. that he has given you. Mm -hmm. And, and that's really what revelation knowledge is all about. You know, as uh, we are uh, just talking to you, the Lord will start opening your eyes of understanding. And he will start bringing things to you. He will start actually canceling every lie of the enemy yes. that has been resting in your mind. You know, uh, let's go back to that scripture, 2 Corinthians 1. And I'm not in a rush because we need to get this across to the people watching. It says, for all. Yes. All the promises of God in him. You, you know, that is to me, that is so important. Yes. All God's promises in him. It's not in any politician. It's not in any pastor. It's not in any human. It's not in any husband or any wife. We are dealing with all the promises of God in him. And why is it in him? Because Christ Jesus paid the price. So all the promises of God are in him. And because they are in him, we can now receive. Yes. And it says that they are yea and they are amen. 
In other words, they are sealed and signed by the blood of Jesus Christ, sealed by the Holy Ghost, signed by his name, and is unto the glory of God by us. Amen. <coughs> Unchangeable. Unchangeable. There's no other information that can be put at the end because he has said amen to his word. Amen. And once he says amen, mm -hmm. nobody can come back and change it. Nobody can come and do anything I but him. I like that. But him. I like that. And he's done that already. Mm -hmm. And it is in him, as he say it is, and we are in him. Amen. We are covered by him. Amen. And the blood of Jesus. Yes. And everything that is in him. Yes. Use his promises. My God. For your life. Mm. Use his promises for any and every circumstance that come up yeah. in your daily travels, mm. in your family. Live on those promises. Hide those promises in your heart. Yeah. They can't be taken away from you. Yeah. You know, there's something, uh, Minister Sarah, and I want you to address this. There's something that the Lord is laying in my heart. Sometimes many people, some of you watching, you may be nodding your head. Some people are having some difficulty uh, believing the promises of God because they have seen the same cycle in their family. And they have seen the same cycle with their friends. It's almost like, why me? How can me be the, a, uh, the first one different? See, you don't understand what knowledge they had. You don't know what revelation they received. You don't know what they actually believed. You can have two people that are twins, and they have been in the, in the house, with the same mother, the same father, and they, they don't think or reason alike. So the fact that a whole lot of folks in your family <laughs> have gone through it doesn't mean that the reverse cannot start with you. It stops here. Amen. God's word tells me, the day you hear your, my voice, Amen. harden not your heart. Amen. And if I'm open to receive God's word, and that may be some of you, and you're the only one in the family that yes. has heard, yes. the day that you hear my voice, Amen. harden not your heart. Amen. Because he speaks in different ways to different people. We're all his His people. Mm -hmm. Last week we talked about the sheep of his pastor. Yes. You're part of the sheep. Amen. of his pastor. Amen. We all belong to him. Yes. The day that he speaks to you, that's the day you need to step Hallelujah. out. Hallelujah. That's the day the change will come. Mm. That's the day that will break the chain of whatever cycle of evil Hallelujah. or whatever it is it. that's in your family. Mm -hmm. That's the day that it will stop. Amen. When you stand against it. Amen. When you call it down yes. with God's word. Yes. When you believe God's Hallelujah. word and stand up. All it took was one. Yes. All it took was one. Amen. And in his word, he tells us that one could put a thousand to flight. Amen. So Amen. we believe that. Yeah. And understand that. Amen. We can stand for not only Hallelujah. our immediate family, Thank but you, generations to come. Hallelujah. Go ahead and we pray we're out of time. Praise <laughs> God. I thank you, Holy <laughs> Father. I thank you for the time thank that you, you have Jesus. given us to talk to your people, Father, Amen. to shed your word, yes. to bring about the light you, that you have provided for us, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, I pray that it falls on ears that are willing to hear, that are eager to know you, Lord, and will follow up, Lord Jesus, by calling on you, Hallelujah. by learning of you, by believing in you. You are the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. All things belong to you, and we are your people. We thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Well, the Lord is so good. Until next time, know this. God loves you, so do we. Tell yes, your Lord. friends more about OCN. Amen. Shalom. Amen. Shalom. Shalom.